no shortage of scoring here at the end of the first quarter. Trailblazers lead by seven. We've got more in store for you right after this. Now the second quarter getting ready to start up. Let's look at the energy stats, how the hustle game has been going for Portland. I'll tell you what, guys, they're showing us a lot of energy early on and racking up those fast break points. And the other thing they're doing is forcing a lot of turnovers, and that's helping them to get easy points at the other end. Lillard and Matthews pair up in the backcourt. A follow is out there with Myers Leonard, and it's Lopez in at the five spot. That's the group on the floor for Portland. And let's catch up with our sideline reporter, Doris Cook. Doris, over to you. Thank you, Kevin. Damian Lillard is the latest in a line of great Oakland point guards. That includes Gary Payton and Jason Kidd. Payton says he plays like the rest of us did, with that little swagger and that complete calm. He doesn't get rattled. That quality comes from Oakland, from getting challenged. High praise from one of the best ever, guys. And for the glove to say you play with confidence and swag. Well, he knows all about that. Thanks, Doris. And the Trailblazers making a change here. Batum's checked in. And Cleveland with a change here, too. Thompson, he's checked in for Smith. And around a minute gone here in the second quarter. You know, one thing you like about Aaron Aflalo, he's an outstanding post-up player for a guard. At 6'5", he's got a real knack for scoring with his back to the bucket. Oh, he's going to keep banging those home if you give him that much space. Lillard outside. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. It's going to go on Tristan Thompson. And no question, he got bumped on that shot. Definitely no room for discussion on that one. And for a follow, Steve, right around the top five and efficiency in the post in the entire NBA last season. Yeah, and his sweet spot really extends on the court, not just from the post, but all the way to the corners. In fact, he loves to work the baseline. Yeah. The Cavaliers trail by 10. Pass to Thompson. Got a piece of it. And that'll be Cleveland as it goes out of bounds. Uh, Cavaliers retain possession. A minute and a half gone here in the second quarter. No good on the quick three. You know, so many games are decided by which team wins the rebound battle. And that's held true in this one so far, Steve. And even if it's only a modest advantage that they have in that category, it's still a significant factor. Well, I'd have to say Lillard is one of the game's best passers right now. Delavidova dishes to Mozgov. Cleveland moving it around. Pass to Delavidova. Irving for three. Offensive rebound. Mozgov passes to Love. Second shot opportunity. Here's Irving. He hasn't scored yet. That I'm sure will change. Lillard outside. Thompson with the rebound. Boy, that's a frustrating one there. Easy look at the hoop. Lopez with the steal. A follow goes in. And for those of you just joining us, we're almost two and a half minutes into the second quarter. Here's Batum. The kick out to Matthews. Lillard outside. The second chance effort. Back to Matthews. Let's it go with a three. Here's Lopez. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up and two shots coming up. And the defense looking to protect the rim at all costs. Yeah, I like that. A foul to save the layup. Make him earn it at the line. At the line for two. You know, Robin Lopez doesn't score a lot, but neither is he a liability at the center position. He's got really good hands. He catches everything. He can finish off the pick and roll action. He can even knock down the mid-range jumper if you leave him open, and he's an excellent rebounder, too. And Lopez at 7 feet, 255 pounds, Steve. A rugged defender in the low block, certainly. Well, a perfect pickup for Portland last year, playing alongside LaMarcus Aldridge. A good rim protector, a pretty good post defender, and his offensive rebounding as well really made an impact on that club. It's a plus-five advantage for them in the rebounding category after that board. Very steady work they've been doing on the interior, no question. And that's, uh, I think, the main reason they have this lead. Well, you knew he'd win that race. Definitely. I mean, 
That's what you call early offense. The Cavaliers trail by 16. And here's Love for three. Mozgov kicks to Thompson. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. The Cavaliers shooting their third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. Well, this is a club that shot 75% as a team from the free throw line last season. Well, last season, Tristan Thompson made the decision to change his shooting hand. Clark, he went from shooting with his left to now shooting with his right hand. Yeah, I've not heard of anything quite like that before, but he improved his free throw shooting substantially as a result of the change, and he gets to the line fairly often, so I think that's a nice development. And I love that young man's work ethic and what he brings to a team in terms of um, rebounding and physicality. I think LeBron's going to like playing it. I agree. And you can feel the momentum swinging. They needed that shot badly. Steve, I sense some frustration here. It seems like they're getting a little frustrated. It's understandable because they've given up this big run. That's good. Lopez has got six. You see? The defense get caught standing around that time, giving up an easy second chance bucket. Simply need more of an effort on the boards there, Steve. Well, Thompson is ambidextrous. Uh, you know, he throws a baseball right-handed, writes with his left, and we got to give him credit for taking a chance with a whole new method of shooting, and it's paying dividends. Count the bucket. And Verizhov's got his first points in this one. Trailblazers leading by 18. Batum attacking. No good. Ice D from Verizhov. Cavaliers shooting only 31%. Their offense really struggling to put possessions together. And Thompson prone to getting the shot blocked inside despite his length and athleticism. You know, being ambidextrous, you would think that he, at some point, developed that ability to be a better finisher inside with either hand. We'll see. Here's Irving. Yes, and it's LeBron picking up the assist. When the drive to the bucket was nice, but how about the finger roll finish? Beautiful. Some time